Hello everyone, welcome back with another very useful and informative video. In this video, I'll show you if you're facing this type of problem on your iPhone or iPad device on Safari browser, this connection is not private. So in this video, I'll show you how you can easily fix this problem if you're having this type of issue on your iPhone or iPad device while browsing on Safari or Google Chrome. So first of all here, you'll have to close this tab. After that, first of all here, you will need to open settings on your iPhone or iPad device. And the first thing you'll have to make sure that you are using strong internet connection. If you're using Wi-Fi, then here you'll have to disconnect with Wi-Fi and reconnect it again. And if you're using mobile data, then here you'll have to turn off your mobile data and turn it on again. After that here, you'll have to again open settings, then scroll it below, then tap on general. Then after that here, you'll need to scroll it below and here, you'll have to make sure that your iPhone date and time is correct and the set automatically is turned on from here and the tone and the time zone is selected correctly from here. Then after that, go back and after that again open setting, then tap on general. Then after that, scroll it below and here, you will need to tap on VPN and device management. And here, make sure that your iPhone device is not connected with VPN. If your iPhone device is connected with VPN, then here you'll have disconnect with VPN. And then after that, try again later and check that the problem fixed or not. If you are having still this problem, then here you'll have to go back. Then again, open setting. Then after that, here you will need to scroll it below. Then here you will have to scroll it below. And here, search for Safari browser. So here is Safari, you will need to tap on this. Then after that here, you will see this type of interface here. You will have to scroll it below. Here, scroll it below all the way, then tap on advanced. Then after that here, you will need to, then here you will need to tap on website data. After that here, you will find different website data here. You will need to scroll it below and here, you will have to remove all website data from here. Then after that, go back. Then here you'll have to scroll it up and here you will need to tap on clear history and website data. After that here you will need to select all history then here you will need to tap on clear history. After that here you will need to again scroll it below and then tap on advanced. Then here is the option of block all cookies. Make sure that this toggle is disabled from here. Then after go back then here you'll have to force restart your iPhone device by tapping on the volume up button, then volume down, then press the power button until Apple logo appears. Then after that, check that the problem fixed or not. If you're having still this problem, then again open setting, scroll it below, then tap on general, then scroll it below again, and here tap on transfer or reset iPhone, then tap on reset, then tap on reset network settings. After that here, enter your iPhone passcode, then after that hopefully, your problem will be fixed and you will be able to use the Safari browser on your iPhone or iPad device. So in this way you can fix this problem if you are having this type of issue on your iPhone or iPad device. So that's it from this video. Hopefully you like this video. If you like this video then please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that you can get my all upcoming videos. Thanks for watching this video.